everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. We're the Garso Twins, I'm Carly. And I'm Britta. And if you like this video and any of our other videos, we'd love it if you would support us and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything, anything coming up. Today we're gonna be going through our July favorites, so let's get into it. Okay, first up are some eyeshadows that I've been truly loving. Um, a lot of you, or a few of you, have recommended Sydney Grace Matte Eyeshadows um, because they're talc free and you guys know I can't wear talc in my products. And Jen Phelps, if you're familiar with her channel on YouTube, she used to be Beauty Addiction. We've been following her for years since well, her she was days. the budget, the budget beauty vlog. vlog. And yeah. we love her. Mm -hmm. She's so hardworking, like her channel. She like reviews everything, she swatches everything. Mm -hmm. She's just, she's great. Her personality's wonderful too. Um, anyway, so she talks about Sydney Gray's eyeshadows. She has like probably every single they sell and then she buys all their palettes too. And I feel like she kind of has some more taste to us because mm -hmm. she is 42 and so she has really dry, like mature skin. And so she's really picky about, you know, what looks good on her skin um, and we have dry skin and like as we're getting older I just mm -hmm. gravitate towards things that are more dewy lighter coverage things like that and so I often like her recommendations and Especially she has eyeshadow too because she's hooded eyes yes, we mm -hmm. do too we have like a lot of folds in our eyes yeah so for eyeshadow I really trust her recommendations and she spoke about these and then like I said a few of you recommended them so I picked up four shades I actually so I put them in this Anastasia palette that we spoke about in a weekly favorite and we week love them yeah it was a dollar yeah. Um, and it's magnetized so I just put the four shades here I mean but like look at this color combination these are beautiful but what I was trying to say was I can't actually lift them all up like I'm having trouble they're really strong magnets yeah so I know I know what this shade is called and I think I know what this one is but I'm going to insert a swatch photo of all four shades with the names um, but today I'm wearing this like lighter shade in my crease um, as a transition and then the shade toffee which is my favorite of all four in the crease um, and they pair so well together they blend out beautifully I feel like you can really build them up there's not like a lot of fallout there is but not as much as with some other talc free shadows like the Natasha Denona shadows those have so much kickback these don't have as much um and I love the shades I feel like they did such a good job curating these tones um overall I'm so impressed I can't wait to get more of them I love that I have like my perfect little four quad palette now because I feel like these if you can tell these two are a little more cool toned these are a little more neutral to warm um, but they do actually all pair really well together they're so beautiful. I really can't say enough good things. Um, this brand is like so underrated. I feel like no one talks about them. And I, I get it because the branding itself isn't like very luxe. I feel like you would look at them and think that they're almost like, you know, just not... You wouldn't really guess they're high quality. Yeah, exactly. Um, but they are, so don't sleep on it for sure. I haven't tried their shimmers because I usually just gravitate towards mattes, um, but they're amazing. Okay, another makeup favorite we've been loving this month is the Patrick Cha. They're called the Blush Duos, right? I think so. In, oh my gosh, I'm like, she's, so, she's LA. so LA. Yes. It's the bronze tone of all of them, which you guys know we love like bronzy nude makeup, like mm -hmm. beige bronze makeup. It's just our favorite tones. And this is perfect. This actually, the cream especially, has a pretty strong red undertone, but I love that. I'm wearing it right now. Are you? No, I'm actually wearing one of those All My Blushes, the peach one I have. Oh, I'm wearing the All My Blush on my eyes. Oh, really? Yeah, those funny. are still like my favorite. Yeah, they're so <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, but it actually has a pretty strong red undertone, which I really love. It kind of gives you that sunburnt look and also kind of looks like a blush. Or, I mean, a bronzer, like, blush combo. So, I really love that. I think it's really unique where it's not just a normal... Like, you would look at this and probably think, here, just in case I'm blocking the shade for well, you. Well, you should do a swatch. Yeah, I'll insert a swatch. But you could look at this and think that it looks like just like another cream bronzer, but it really is like a bronzed, ready blush, which is so awesome. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I have it on my cheeks right now. I have both of them. Patrick in his videos likes to do the powder first and then the cream on top to kind of give your cheeks like a really supple look. But I still am like more traditional and I like yeah. to do the cream first and then the powder. This powder is so beautiful. It's not as red as the cream. It's more of like a traditional bronzy nude, I would say. Oh, you should cover the mirror because... Yeah. Um, the camera. 
but it's really stunning. The powder is also a beautiful eyeshadow. I yeah, should have worn it today it so you could see, but we both worn it as eyeshadow and it's just stunning. It blends out beautifully. It's like a really unique shade as well. So love this so much. I feel like you really get your money's worth because you get a cream and a powder and you can use them together or apart. So mm -hmm. it's awesome. The thing that we put in a weekly favorites that made its way into monthly yeah, is the too. Pravana, the perfect blonde purple toning mask. This is the best toning product I've ever tried. Um, you basically, it's a really thick, deep purple conditioning mask and you put it on after you shampoo in the shower for up to five minutes. I've left this on for less and still have seen results. Yeah, me too. It's crazy. Um, and then you have to rinse it out thoroughly because it's so thick, it does actually really get caught in your hair. So you really have to make sure you rinse it. Then I just follow up with a little bit of conditioner. Mm -hmm. um, I use this probably like every other week. Oh, I don't... you do put conditioner over it? Yeah. I thought it said not to, so I didn't. Oh, I usually do, but I just leave it on for like a little bit, and mostly okay. just the ends. Yeah, I don't, and I still don't have any issues. Like, it's very conditioning. It so. is. It is. I just, we have super dry hair mm -hmm. um, from all the bleach. But anyways, it's so effective. I feel like it's a little expensive because I could see myself going through this pretty quickly, but because of how effective it is yet gentle on my like super damaged hair. I just love it. I feel mm -hmm. like everyone that has bleach in their hair should try this. It's really good. It's so, And it smells really nice too. Yeah, it does smell nice. Okay, this is another product that we put in our weekly favorites that is in the monthly favorites. And it's the new Versed Backup Plan Acne Control Body Mist. It has 2% salicylic acid, which is I think the strongest level you can buy yeah. over the counter. Tea tree oil and witch hazel. And it's Awesome. Britta won't let me spray it last time. She probably won't let me spray it now. So I just want you to get it on the couch. I know. I don't want to get it on the couch either, but trust me when I say that the spray pattern on this is perfect. Like, it deposits the perfect amount. It doesn't spray too wide, so you're not getting it everywhere. I went on and on in our weekly favorites, so I'll try to keep it short, but this is super effective. My favorite way to apply it is at night, so right before bed. I will spray it on my chest if I'm seeing breakouts, and then on my back, and I can do it by myself. Which I think is the best part, is it's so hard to reach back there. Yeah. So it makes it so easy. You can just spray it on your back, spray it on your chest. Uh, sometimes I rub it in a little bit if I spray too much. And then I let it sit for probably a minute. And it still feels a little sticky. Like it's definitely apparent it's on your skin. But I like that because then I feel like it's sticking to you. Yeah. And you know it's going to last all night. Um, and then I just go to sleep and I wake up and it's just really effective. I feel like if you use this three days in a row, you can really see your breakouts diminish quickly, and it's awesome. I actually feel like I use this for a week straight, and I haven't really had breakouts since, and it's, yeah, it's just really effective and a really innovative product from first, and it's awesome. You can get it at Target. Mm -hmm. It's on Target's website now. Yep. Okay, um, a product I have been absolutely loving is the Sweet Chef Lip Sleeping Mask. I ran out of my fresh caramel um, lip balm and I don't think that's a sleeping mask they don't say it is um, but I was using that at night and it is conditioning I love it because I love the smell I love the feeling but for me it's more of a daytime type of balm so I needed something that was a little more heavy duty at nighttime um, and I got this because it's only like 12 or 15 dollars and you get so much product mm -hmm. look at how big this is it's 12 grams it has amazing reviews um it's so thick you guys like it's it's also really yellow it's really yellow mm -hmm. um but it comes with a little spatula to be honest i don't really use that because i feel like i kind of like pick up too much product when i use the spatula but because it's so hard you do actually have to like dig your finger in there to get some product out or like warm it up a little bit but i love this i feel like it hydrates my lips so well when I put this on at night it is actually there in the mornings when I wake up I feel like you can get a really thin layer because like I said you do have to dig or warm it up a little bit to get a lot of product um uh, kind of opposite of the Laneige lip sleeping mm -hmm. mask which I still love and re-purchase um, often but that one is so creamy that I feel like you can easily put too much on. Whereas this one, I can do like one little swipe and pat it on my lips and it almost for like daytime use, I would say. Or I can really build it up at night and put like a lot more on and slather it. But it stays where you put it. I feel like it feels a little waxy so it creates like that occlusive barrier that you want. It smells nice. It has a little bit of a citrus scent to it but nothing too overpowering or crazy. I've just really been loving this. And I want to try more from this brand. I actually recently ordered 
actually today I ordered their new um, oat milk latte cleanser. If you tried that, let me know, or anything else you've tried from them that you like. I did get a sample pack of the serums back in like December and I didn't love their serums so I think I was a little turned off and I was like oh maybe it won't, won't really like mm -hmm. anything else but I love this so if you've tried anything from Sweet Chef which is from the Glow Recipe founders um, let me know because this is amazing okay next up I have a few fashion favorites I'll do the shoes first these are the Everlane well god what are they called they're called like the cross slide I believe they look like this they have a flat sole but it's still really comfortable and this super soft um, leather upper and they have like no harsh seams which you know some sandals are just very hard on this part so it kind of cuts into your foot and the first day I wore them I did have to write the leather in but since then they've been the most comfortable sandals I have ever purchased in my life no exaggeration much like all of Everlane's shoes <laughs> they're all so comfortable I honestly don't know how they do it like I have sneakers from them I have boots from them and they just engulf your foot in comfort I truly don't understand their designers are impeccable I love the kind of square top I think it makes it a little more elevated and just uh, more mature like I love how that looks and do these you want to are, talk this, about the sides are they true to size yeah so these are awesome so Everlane is really good with recommending sizes and they actually recommended if you were I can't remember exactly but if you go on the site it was like if you are under a seven you should size up and then it, if it was like if you were over a nine, you should size down. And if you were in between seven and eight, you should keep your normal size. And I'm a seven and a half, so I ordered my normal size. And I think they fit great. My foot definitely goes to the very edge, but I don't know. I feel like when you break in shoes like this, they just kind of conform to your feet. So I've had no issues with them sliding off at all. I could have probably also worn an eight, but I like how the seven and a half fits. So... I would just follow their guidelines on their website because I do think they're accurate with all the shoes I purchased. Um, when they tell me to buy my normal size, they've always fit. So, And these are on sale right now on the Everlane site. I think they're going to be for a little bit um, when this video goes up. Not in the black shade, unfortunately, but there's like five other shades, and I think most of them are on sale right now. So if you like the look of these, definitely check them out because they're a great purchase. Okay, next up is a jewelry favorite. Um, I purchased probably 90% of my jewelry from And Other Stories. I love their pieces. I feel like they're like classic yet trendy. The gold looks real even though it's not real gold. They're nickel free so I can wear them and I don't have an allergic reaction. And they're such good quality for the price. I think this herringbone necklace was $30 it's but it cute. feels like so weighted and nice. And I have never had anything like tarnish from them. I just can't say enough good things about their jewelry. Uh, I mean, I'm sure they would tarnish over time, but I've just never, like, I've worn the pieces so much and they haven't tarnished yet, is what I'm trying to say. Um, this is like just a herringbone necklace. It's a little bit longer than a choker, I would say. But you do have the like two different or three different clasp options. But I love that they didn't make like a super long chain. Because mm -hmm. don't you think that kind of makes it look cheap sometimes? Well, it's just weird what's yeah, the point i don't get it either i feel like sometimes when the chain's really long and you have a bunch of loops it makes it look a little cheap and then it's like if you put it on the last loop then you oftentimes see that chain and i don't know i just that was a little detail that i love um it just has a little clasp and i just think it's so beautiful it's like one of my favorite necklaces probably i've ever purchased and i was just shocked at how good the quality is so i wanted to recommend it Hopefully it's still on their website because their jewelry sells out so quickly. That's my only issue with them. Like they stock something and if you don't buy it when it's a new arrival, it's basically gone forever. So I really hope this is still on the website. It was recently, so I'll link it down below. Okay, my last favorite are sunglasses and I'm actually going to put them on for you even though it's going to give me that <laughs> godforsaken line on my nose. There's no way to avoid that, but that's okay because I want you to see what they look like. These are the Lispecs and they're called the, it's written on here, I Feel Love Frames. And I checked before we filmed this video and they're still available on the Lispecs site where I ordered them from because they were on sale on that site so I wanted to get the sale price. But these took two months to get to me, which was shocking to say the least. But it's okay, I love them. And they did have a little warning when you ordered that their postage um, service was just super, super delayed. So just be warned if you order from their website and you live in the U.S., it could take up to two months. But 
They are no longer available on Nordstrom or Revolve, but they were on those sites at one point. But like I said, you can get them from the, the spec site. These are so awesome. I'm going to put them on. They're super high quality. They're not polarized, but they're, they have different levels of like the UVB, UVA mm -hmm. protection. I think they're level three, so they're pretty high up there. And these remind me of the Ray-Ban Wayfarers, which I actually had a pair, and I just did not treat them well, and they got really scratched, so I stopped using them. But they are a little more elevated. Like, I love the, the corners. How they're they, definitely more feminine. Yeah, they're more feminine, and the corners just kind of have this, um, like pointed edge instead of the Wayfarers how they're like just a perfect square. I also like the lenses more. The Wayfarers I feel like kind of had that green tinge to them where these are more of like a true black in my opinion and they feel just as nice of quality. Like they are super quality sunglasses for the price. I think they're originally 60 and I got them for 40 and I just feel like they're going to last me a really long time for that price. So I was just really impressed with the quality. It was my first pair of the specs that I purchased. They come in this little cute holder and yeah, I really like them. If you guys have bought from this brand before, let me know what frames you like because now I want to like try some other ones and see what I like. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We thought we didn't have that many favorites. Maybe we just talked a lot. I feel like this was long. Really? I don't feel like it was that long. You oh, let us okay. know. Yeah. yeah, let us know. Um, but also let us know what you've been loving in July down below.